Hi, I'm Sue. I'm your garden shop garden crew and today we're going to show you how to prune your roses. Now first of all, when you want to tackle something as thorny as a rose, you need the right equipment to do that. So I've got a good pair of gloves here. If you've got very thorny roses, I recommend that you actually use a pair of leather gloves. And then secondly, I've got a pair of loppers here that I need for taking out the big branches and then I've got my secateurs which I'm going to use to do the finer pruning. Now I've also got a bucket here and I've put some jig into that bucket because like a surgeon it's important that you sterilize your equipment when you go from plant to plant otherwise you're going to spread disease between them. Okay so what is the main principles of pruning roses. First of all you want to open the rose on the inside and you also want to take out all the old wood. Okay that's everything that wasn't formed in this season. Now usually what we try to do is we try to keep three stems in the shape of a bucket to open it up and then we take out all the other old wood. Right so um, I have decided that with this rose here, I'm going to leave this branch here, which is formed last season. This one here, you can see they're all nice and green. And this one here. And apart from that, I'm going to take everything else out. So I'm first going to use my lopper. And then I'm going to use to cut out all the thicker branches first. That will make it easier for me to then see where I need to prune and let's just get this guy out here see this is also quite an old branch there so I'm gonna take that out flush against the stem do a nice clean cut if I'm strong enough ah. Let's see. I'm going to do another cut in there. Try it from a bit of a different angle. If you really have very thick branches, then you can also use a pruning saw to cut them out. But if you've been pruning your roses properly, you shouldn't have that problem. It would be a really, really tough one, but finally. It is out and as you can see now we're left with three new branches here and I'm going to cut them away 30 centimeters from the ground not any further than 30 centimeters cut them above an eye and you would also if possible want the eye to be growing out. So we're gonna put some fungicide down now we've cut out all the old dead wood and you can see we left here with three newer branches. Now the idea is to cut those back not further than 30 centimeters above the ground. You can go even lower if you need to. If you don't have three new branches, you can leave only one if that is all you have. But it's preferable to cut out as much old wood as possible. So we're going to look at these branches and I'm going to look for eyes growing towards the outside. Because if the branches are going to grow to the inside, they're going to rub against each other, make wounds, and then that is possible places for disease to happen. So you can see there's a nice eye there, and I'm going to do a clean 45 degree cut right there. Okay, now we've got this baby here. Let me just have a look. There's a nice eye over there. And just above the eye, about half a centimetre, 45 degrees. And the same with this guy here, 45 degrees. And all my eyes are facing outward, so all those branches are going to grow onto the outside eventually. I'm just going to cut out that little baby there. Right, so, like a surgeon, we also need some Makirochrome for our rose bushes. That is to cover the wounds to prevent disease from happening 
and also to prevent borer worms to actually drill into the stem. So I'm using Steli Seal, that's an antibacterial and also a sealing agent. Now if you've got a lot of roses, you can actually decanter this into a little bucket and use a paintbrush to brush it on. But we don't have that many roses, so I'm going to do it out of the tube. And you can see I'm covering up all the wounds, especially this big one here. Make sure that it's nicely covered. We don't want any things to crawl in there. And this one at the bottom here. Right. So we've now sealed all our wounds with the Steri Seal. And now we want to prevent our first level of fungal infections on our roses. So we're going to wait for the um steam. okay we've now sealed the wounds so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to sterilize the soil around it with some cumulus this guy here which is a fungicide and i've already mixed it into my watering can here so i'm going to sterilize the soil around the rose bush and the branches that's left itself and then the other thing that we need to do is we need to feed our roses because we now want to promote new growth so i've got some rose food here color burst rose you can also use ludwig's rose food or wonder 815 and remember all these fertilizers are very high in nitrogen and you don't want to burn the roots so we're just going to use one spoonful per plant and we're going to spread it like about 10 centimeters away from the stem so that it doesn't touch the stem like that and then we're going to use our cumulus which i've already mixed to water in the rose food and also to sterilize the soil around it now by using a drenching fungicide right after pruning you're actually killing the spores from the previous season and your early infections will be less i'm just watering it right over the plant as well there we go so these are rose pruned as best as possible we've got the three new branches in the shape of a basket they all sealed our soil is sterilized and now before we go to the next rose we're going to put our tools back into our sterilizing liquid to prevent it from spreading disease to the new plants that we're pruning. Hi, I'm Sue. I'm your garden shop garden crew. And today we're going to show you how to prune your roses. Now, first of all, when you want to tackle something as thorny as a rose, you need the right equipment to do that. So I've got a good pair of gloves here. If you've got very thorny roses, I recommend that you actually use a pair of leather gloves. And then, secondly, I've got a pair of loppers here that I need for taking out the big branches. And then I've got my secateurs, which I'm going to use to do the finer pruning. Now, I've also got a bucket here, and I've put some jig into that bucket, because like a surgeon, it's important that you sterilize your equipment when you go from plant to plant otherwise you're going to spread disease between them okay so what is the main principles of pruning roses first of all you want to open the rose on the inside and you also want to take out all the old wood okay that's everything that wasn't formed in this season now usually what we try to do is we try to keep three stems in the shape of a bucket to open it up and then we take out all the other old wood right so um i have decided that with this rose here i'm going to leave this branch here which is formed last season this one here you can see they're all nice and green and this one here and apart from that i'm going to take everything else out so I'm first going to use my lopper and then I'm going to use to cut out 
or the thicker branches first that will make it easier for me to then see where I need to prune and let's just get this guy out here Idea. so that's one gone there now you can see this is also quite an old branch there so I'm going to take that out flush against the stem do a nice clean cut if I'm strong enough ah. let's see I'm going to do another cut in there it from a bit of a different angle if you really have very thick branches then you can also use a pruning saw to cut them out but if you've been pruning your roses properly you shouldn't have that problem 